Welcome back to Bayside News. Can you believe this is the last full week of October? Yep, November will be here soon. It kind of feels like this school year is going by fast, don't you think? Here's some information about what's happening at our school. As you know, parent-teacher conferences started last week and continued this Thursday. We hope you enjoyed your three-day weekend. Hopefully everyone heard some good things from your teachers. Today and tomorrow, the fifth graders will be heading to the Schlitz Autobahn Center for their fall field trip. Check out our school Instagram account for pictures from the trip. Seventh and eighth graders, remember this date, November 11th. That is the date of the first Bayside Activity Night just for you. Last week, we told you about award-winning author Jason Reynolds visiting our school on November 3rd. Don't forget, if you want to order any of his books at a discount price, download the form on the daily communication section of our school website. It's time for some grade level updates. We're here with an update on world languages. Fifth grade and French and Spanish students are learning classroom commands like stand up and raise your hand. Sixth grade French and Spanish students are discussing likes and dislikes and learning about verbs related to activities. Eighth graders in French are practicing for their regional presentation, and students in Spanish are using super challenging STEM chargers to describe clothing preferences. Seventh graders in Spanish are discussing time in school classes, and students in French are creating videos that describe their school. In fifth grade social studies, we chose, to, we chose two Native American origin stories to compare. We chose one and illustrated it, by coding and an Ozobot to act it out. I chose the Ojibwe story. So this is my, um, this is mine, and this is an Ozobot. So it goes down the thing, and it will do the actions that go along with the story. So at this point, he's like stranded in a pine tree. Um, in sixth grade, social studies students are learning how to think like social scientists by examining pictures of artifacts and making predictions on how or why they were used. Science students are learning about gravity and motion and embedding science process skills into those lessons. ELA has just started a di deep dive into character unit while, we, while math continues to learn an area and using a lot of investigative skills. In seventh grade ELA, we are working on our historical fiction project. And in science, we're working on our thermal energy labs. In social studies, we just finished. We're just starting our Great Lakes project. In gym, we're doing flag football. In eighth grade math, we are studying slides, turns, and flips for different shapes. In eighth grade social studies, students are beginning to learn how to build a histori historical argument using primary and secondary sources in preparation for their National History Day project. Each student brought in an artifact that they felt represented the previous school year and the students viewed them together to look at, uh, out trends from what happened that year. Here are some artifacts that they brought in. Our 7th and 8th grade girls basketball teams had their first game of the season. This week, on Wednesday, they will be heading to Shorewood. Good luck! We are back with another passing time question. Here's Carson. Hello, welcome back to Passing Time. My name is Carson and I'll be the host today. What is your favorite subject? Social studies. What is your favorite subject? Math. What is your favorite subject? Probably social studies. What is your favorite subject? Either ELA or social studies. What is your favorite subject? Math or ELA. What is your favorite subject? Uh, when I was in school, my favorite subject was definitely Spanish. What is your favorite subject? Math or Miss Frankie. What is your favorite subject? Uh, Miss Allen at Core 3 ELA. What is your favorite subject? Social studies with Miss Seipert. What is your favorite subject? Math with Miss Cannon. What is your favorite subject? Science with Miss Frankie. What is your favorite subject? Math with Miss Canham. Here are some important dates for you to keep in mind. October 25th is National Greasy Food Day. I personally love bacon. October 26th is National Pumpkin Day. October 28th is National Chocolate Day. I'll be eating a lot of Twix. Too bad for us lactose intolerant fellows. October 29th is National Cat Day. October 30th is National Candy Corn Day. 
Candy corn is a pretty underrated candy. It is. October 31st is Halloween. Yeah, costumes, candy, what tricks. Are, what are you guys gonna be for Halloween? As all of you probably know, Mr. Fabus is our new band teacher. We decided to interview him to get to know him a little better. Okay, let's try it again. Hi, I'm interviewing our new band teacher, Mr. Fabus. Hello, Bayside Middle School. How many years have you taught and what schools do you teach at before Bayside? Um, I've taught now for 16 years. I taught for 14 years at Frank Lloyd Wright, that's in West Dallas. And I also taught for two years I'm at Carthage College as a college teacher. What is a fact no one would know about you from just looking at you? Hmm. A fact that nobody's just looking at me. I've been to every single state except for Hawaii and I've been to 110 countries. And can you tell us a little bit about your military experience? Yeah, um, I've been in the military now for 29 years. Um, I was in the Navy for 13 active duty, and then I got out after September 11th happened because I felt the need to defend my country. Um, I joined the Army, uh, deployed a couple years to Iraq, um, and I'm currently the uh, band commander for an Army band. Uh, the military, another fun fact, is the largest employer of musicians in the entire world. So I have offices in here in Milwaukee and one in Chicago, which I'm doing this weekend. And uh, we play music for all the dignitaries, um, all the mil military ceremonies. And we do, it's called Conrail. We do stuff for the public too. Um, it's a great career and it's, a, and it's a very fun job. And finally, and probably most importantly, what is your favorite M&M color? Hmm, pink. Cam is back with more jokes. Let's see if anyone knows the answers. I'm Cam, and I'll be telling some cheesy jokes. What kind of music do balloons hate? Um, country music? Pop. That was pretty good. Where do you learn to make ice cream? The ice cream shop? <laughs> nice try. Sunday school. Oh. <laughs> Why was the stadium so cold? Why? There was, there were a lot of fans. Good joke. Thanks. Why can't your nose be 12 inches long? I don't know why. Because then it will be a foot. Oh. <laughs> what do birds do on Halloween? What do birds do on Halloween? I don't know. What do they do? Give out tweets. <sighs> sure know that. Good one. It's time for Bayside Food Review. This week, we are testing something Mr. Fabus thinks is true. Welcome back to Bayside Food Review. Today we're going to be eating Skittles and seeing if we can, like, differentiate, like, a taste to see. Because Mr. Fabus said that all Skittles taste the same, but we're going to see if that's true or false. Okay. Uh, this is the first one we're going to be trying. I think it's yellow. Mmm. an itch. Okay. Um. I don't know. Mine tastes like the purple. Maybe red. But <laughs> Why would you say it tastes like purple and then say red? I'm saying the colors. Oh, okay. Uh, now we're going to be trying this one. I think this is orange. Crazy? I'm deciding. Um, I think it's yellow or green. I, probably yellow though. This one? Oh, okay. I'm still chewing. Wait, no, I shouldn't have eaten. What? That's fine. Okay. Mm, I think this one's yellow. Red. Or orange. Red. Red. 
right, now this one. Wait, this one's yellow. Yellow. Tastes like a lemon. I was about to say it tastes like yellow, but I remember that's not a fruit. <laughs> Oh, this one now, I guess. Orange. I don't know. It tastes like an orange. At first, it had like a tiny hint of cinnamon. Cinnamon? <laughs> I don't know. It just tasted like that for a second. Like if you smell cinnamon. It's weird because, uh, yeah, some of them taste the same, but like, they don't all taste the same. Like, each one is a different taste. Like, I could definitely hint some green and that yellow I just tasted. So it's not like they're all the same. I mean, yeah, it's not like they're all the same. Um, it's kind of like they all taste a little different. Like, each one tastes different. Okay. Okay, Mr. Fabus, based on what we just tasted, we think you're somewhat right, but not really because it's not, they don't all taste the same, but it's not really like a taste that is like infused in each one. Like, it's all different. Thanks for watching Food Review. See you next time. That's it for Bayside News. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next week with another episode. Have, Have a great week, Bayside! Time. My dentist is already kind of annoyed. Well, then we shouldn't be eating Skittles. You're not worth it, honest. Same thing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. One cleans your teeth, one well, fixes your teeth. <laughs> Didn't the green one used to be green apple? Yes, and then it was switched to lime. I don't like green apple stuff. It tastes like blue cheese. Like the mystery flavored dum dums at um, um, you Banks. Said this yesterday? Yeah, they taste like blue cheese. <laughs> Where do you learn to make ice cream? Where? Sunday school. Oh, that's a joke. Yes, it is. Can I tell where, where do you, <laughs> well, no, where do you make ice cream? <laughs> Sandix. <laughs> Hey. Okay. Okay. Hey, I'll don't tell me right. what to and do. Go. Ugh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, okay. We gotta be serious. We gotta get this right. done. Right. Okay. All right. I'm listening. Just wait a second. Okay. Ready? You one more. Go jump. through. Oh, go through. Okay. All righty. Limbo. Okay. Limbo. Any second now. We're gonna do it. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one.